Ennis is off tonight. Our top story, deep officials say they are now monitoring more than 50 fires across the state as dry conditions not only here in Connecticut, but across the country threaten to push those numbers even higher. News 8's Bob Wilson has the latest on fire conditions in and around our state. And weather seems to be the biggest problem. It is the driest autumn on record is since they've been keeping records going back to 1905. And it doesn't look like they're going to catch a break in the near future either. In the general picture, the operation is looking good. The latest update on the Hawthorne fire, which continues to burn and be the biggest fire in Connecticut. Crews working to protect not only homes, but an Eversource transmission line on the south end of the fire. The contingency of shutting off that section of power lines, uh, which we have done in the past, we, uh, they have isolated it and taken it out of the system as we don't want any electrical issues sparking more fires. The Maine State Forester helicopter was in East Lyme to help firefighters with a nasty brush blaze that continued to spread. It was up to nearly a half a dozen acres before firefighters were able to get it under control. The axes and the shovels, uh, we'll use leaf blowers, uh, brooms, anything that's going to create a, a physical break between the act of fire and any, any, any combustible material. So far, six firefighters have been injured this month and one killed in the line of duty fighting brush fires that continue to pop up and not go out. We have currently roughly 50 fires um, that we're tracking around the state. Uh, the largest, of course, is the, the Hawthorne fire in Berlin, over uh, about 120 acres at this point. Resources are stretched thin at the state and local level. 40 members of the Connecticut National Guard have been activated to assist with aerial firefighting operations out of Bradley International Airport. They have two helicopters that continue to douse the fires with nearly 400,000 gallons of water so far. Connecticut National Guard, the last time we had aerial drops of water was 1995, so that's really unprecedented. They also have soldiers on the ground on the Hawthorne fire along with Deep and local firefighters. Deep has called for mutual aid from New Hampshire, Rhode Island and Maine, but they're competing with resources from Massachusetts and New York. They also have significant brush fires. Salem, Massachusetts already has 130 acres burnt and that fire continues to spread. Until we get a soaking rain, uh, we consider all of these fires across the state ones that need to be managed. Uh, and so we're working to uh, ensure that there's proper surveillance and that we're helping to address as new fires are cropping up, um, being able to get personnel on the scene um, to keep them from growing into larger fires. And the reinforcements continue to roll in. We saw a U.S. forestry truck here. Eversource is on scene as well as now FDNY, New York Fire Department, has their command post here to help out as well. In Newington, Bob Wilson, News 8.